What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be tackling the very common issue that you could be getting inside of CSGO. That is basically the error that says fail to join session whenever you try to join a lobby, a community server, sometimes even a competitive server. To begin with, before we get into actually troubleshooting things that can help you, what we do need to do is make sure that you actually have the ability to join the lobby or the game session first before we try and fix this error. So first of all, make sure the lobby that you're trying to join hasn't already closed. Old invites, even days old, will still work, but they'll show you an error if everyone has left the lobby already and the lobby has closed. This of course also applies if somebody's searching for a competitive match or something like that, the lobby will close as soon as they get into the actual match after accepting it when it's been found. Then if it's a community server or a server hosted by one of your friends, simply make sure that the server you're connecting to isn't password protected, or if your friend is playing on a community server, ask them for the name and search for it through the in-game browser rather than trying to join them through your friends list. And finally, if you were previously in the game or lobby and were kicked, you may receive this error instead of the error message saying you were banned from the server temporarily, which can be a bit confusing. Basically, when you get kicked from a community game or something like that, you'll be banned until the map changes. And of course, if you should be able to join the lobby or server, what else can we try? Well, first of all, I'll be going through a fix that I use, often for the VAC files error, but of course it can help here too. Simply open up Steam, locate Counter-Strike Global Offensive, right click, and then click Properties. Inside of this new Properties window over here, head across to Local Files, and simply click Verify Integrity of Game Files. Wait for the process to complete, and when you're able to launch the game again, don't. Simply click Steam in the top left, and then click Exit. After doing this, open up Task Manager with Control Shift and Escape, and on this list over here, simply click anywhere and type in STEA. What we're looking for is Steam, Steam Client, etc, etc, and if you find any Steam processes open, select it, then either hit Delete or the End Task button down here, and close all of the running Steam processes. Often processes that are left running in the background after you close Steam can cause issues. Now that Steam has been completely closed after a verify, simply relaunch Steam and then start up Counter-Strike Global Offensive, things should work as usual. One of the other more weird fixes is that if you're running the game in admin, you should be running Steam in admin as well. And if you're not running the game in admin, don't run Steam in admin, make sure that they match whichever way you're doing it. To run Steam as admin, simply close out of it as you usually would, then locate the icon, right click, more and run as administrator and of course the icon on your desktop you just right click and click run as administrator after doing that if you click play in the steam browser your game will launch as admin as well trying it with or without admin can be a fix depending on how your pc is feeling really other than that there's some obvious things like checking to see if a firewall is blocking the game if your internet connection is having issues and things like that and of course, if you're unable to join a specific server or lobby, and yet you can join other servers or lobbies, simply ask the person who's hosting the server to restart the server if it's a friend of yours, otherwise ask them to remake the lobby if they can do that. This is of course assuming that Windows is up to date, the game's up to date, and you've restarted your PC and or router on top of that as a troubleshooting step. That's usually general practice, so if you haven't tried this and you're out of ideas, there's something for you to do. Update Windows, update your GPU drivers, restart your PC, try to join, and restart your router, then try to join. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching, my name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!